Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is called How Do You See Things? Now, how you see things is ultimately going to revolve around the sun. Because the sun is your actions, the way you act. And ultimately, the way you act revolves around how you see things. Because, for an example, you could be a female that work in a beauty salon, or you could be a, a, a guy that work at a car, a car lot. Now, if you working, if you fixing cars, and if you're a girl, you're doing hair, and you see somebody doing something in a way you wouldn't do it, that's because that's how you see it. So, once you start to express the example of how you would do it, how you would do it, then that's when you take action. You start to act. So this is going to revolve around your sun sign. So ultimately, how you see things is your sun sign. So the planet is how you do these things, right? The house is, is what area of life these things that you're doing is in. So the houses is where you're looking. So if we're talking about the sun, the sun is how you act and how you see things. The house that the sun is in is going to represent what area of life you're looking, you're seeing, or trying to see things or trying to act on. So for an example, your sun, whatever sign is in, that's how you see things, that's how you act. The house is in is the area of life you're looking at. So however you see it, whichever the sun is at, where you're looking, the direction you're looking is what planet the sun is in, the house the sun is in. Now, when we talk about the planetary angles and alignments that's going against the sun, that's what's actually happening in the midst of everything. So let's get a little deeper now. So for a sun sign to be in a fire sign, here are the benefits. The uh, fire represents um, light. Now, let's talk about the sun first. The sun is your action. So it's like a frequency. It's a, it's a light. It's so it's the, the sun is the, is the spirit, is the energy and the spirit of this being, this collectional being that you're in. So we know the spirit is the head space. We know if the spirit first, we know that's the head space. So we know your spirit um, is in your head space. So we know a lot of your frequency, your ideas, your thoughts is tied to your spirit. So your spiritual nature is your the ideas that you have, your thoughts, the way you think. Right from a metaphysic level, but getting on an astrology level, uh, we want to talk about the sun. The sun is like the uh, the idea of you. So the idea. So it's ultimately your ego. So ultimately, um, only time you're gonna you're gonna feel bad about yourself or feel that you fell short is when you don't see yourself in a way, or you're not acting in a way that you see yourself, or you're not doing something where you see yourself doing, or is other people, places, or things in your life that. They, they don't see you doing what you or they're not they don't see you you feel like they don't see you in a way that you that you want them to see you because you're not so nine times out of ten you don't you don't see yourself and your sun sign you don't see yourself doing qualities of your sun sign so that's the only time you could feel far short you could, you could feel like you fell short anytime you feel optimistic and feel upbeat and you feel positive about your actions is a lot of times when you do things according to your sun sign and that's and, and a lot of things could throw you off but we're going to get into that so the sun the sun sign is how you see yourself so a lot of times when you don't when you don't do or act on what you thought you should have did or how you did it nine times out of ten is because you you feel like you fell short to your qualities so it's important to understand your sun sign so sun sign um fire now, sun sign and fire sign. Here's the benefits. The fire represents um, en en enlightenment. It represents uh, you can see because it lights up the room, right? Now, the fire representation that the fire has on Earth. Now, this is not a frequency light. So it, but since it's light, like the sun, the sun is light and it's a frequency. Is it, it be, so? It's a frequency. So a light and a spirit, as far as that the sun would represents, it's a it's a frequency light and this light is like a line of events that has yet to be experienced or played out by by anyone or being or any soul so before it gets experienced is this a line of events so it's an idea it's a grouping of ideas and analogies and concepts that has yet to be experienced so the Sun brings light to the idea that you see around you. So all the trees, everything that you see around you is an idea. And the only reason you can see it is because when the sun come up. Now, when we talk about fire, now fire dances, but since, it's, since it has light to it in this realm of reality, it, it carries information and it, and it carries a way of, you can see. 
So it carries visual, 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 y'all know what I'm trying to say, visualization. So you can visualize. Anytime something has light, light brings information. Information brings um, things you can see, which you can visualize something now. You know what I'm saying? You can't visualize something without no information about it. If you never knew what the next street looked like, you can't visualize the next street. If someone starts to tell you, give you information, or you actually seen it for yourself, now you can develop the ideas and you can experience that line of frequency. So you see what I'm saying? So off the back, when we get when we get to fire, uh, yeah, when we get to fire, sorry about this, y'all. I'm getting attacked. All right, yeah, but when we get to fire, you know what I'm saying, the situation comes about when the benefits is now you can see fire dances. So it has like a fluid because it's in the realm of fluid. So when fire, fire doesn't look like that just in this realm of reality. We're in a fluid realm of reality. So when fire gets brought from the existence it come from due to magic and, due to magic and rituals and stuff, how we, how we create magic and rituals to bring other elements from different spheres of realities and universes and bring them into, uh, bring them into this realm of reality because that's what it is. When you create electricity, sparks or something like that, that's all humans did was receive information from other, from other solar systems and things like that and figured, and figured out how to bring elements and energy from other other fears of realities and other universes into this realm of reality and how and how it relates to this realm of reality is how we see it so when we bring electricity and spark into this realm of reality it's going to appear as fire so when we when a fire gets sparked when we do the magic or ritual this is a ritual whoever built the lighter right and then then the magic trick in it is the spark and now we successfully magically Ritually brought fire into into this existence, and fire only looks like this in this existence. You see what I'm saying? In this realm of reality, and it, it moves, it dances, and it with the fluid. So we know um, it's attached to the soul and the spirit, but it's majorly attached to the spirit because you can visualize, because you can see, and you can uh, and it, it has light, and so right here it's dealing with expression and feeling. It's dealing with is dealing with expressing the idea because it has light so it has energy of the frequency of information and then it has movement fluid so now it has energy of the soul so when you put those two together um, it has ins it, it has insight on feelings so it, it wants to express ideas so ideas is the light and expressing is the soul, the, the visualization, the fluid, the movement of it. So this is why fire dances. But when you look at fire, right, fire moves, it, it, it connects, but it detach, but it dances, but then it, it goes up. So when you touch fire, that's how it feels, right? So you know it has a temperament, it has an energy, it has an expression, it has a visualization, and, and so it has a feeling. And the, when you any fire you see, the fire don't go down, the fire go up. So the feeling go up. So fire signs like to feel up, optimistic, like to look up, like to look forward, like to visualize the future, like like feelings that don't bring them down. They like feelings that bring them up. So anytime that feelings bring them down, it could become volatile. They could become volatile to get out of that circumstance in order to fill up again. So never smother or try to bring down a fire because it could become an explosion. So the Aries represents the explosion. Then whoever whoever died or whatever like that or whatever happened within an explosion, it came and went. Boom, that's what happened. Leo represents the subtle fire, the fire that's settling, the heat temperature, the everybody looking at after the fact. And Sagittarius represents the scatter fire, the heat, the temperament itself, just the light itself. So it's able to see where the other two may not be able to see. And when you see when fire go up, the higher it go up, the thinner the fire get. This so that's Sagittarius. The, this fire is able to go into space and scatter off, which all fires in space. He like this. The spark is in space. Leo's is a little bit more down to earth than Aries and Aries and Sagittarius. But Leo, what Leo can do is bring that that other fear of reality and bring it into Earth and, and stabilize it to the point that they look stable. To the point that a Leo and a Capricorn would be able to get along. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times Aries and Sagittarius, Aries and Sagittarius, it's just too far gone. A lot of times Aries want to do everything that they see here. So a lot of times. 
when you see an Aries that's not conscious, it's because they feel like they are the conscious. So when people are going around talking about consciousness, Aries feel like they're talking about them. You see what I'm saying? And then the idea is that they try to initiate and create new ways of, they, they try to initiate and create new ways of how you should feel about that. You see what I'm saying? Now, uh, and Sagittarius like to look at different realms of perceptions. Now look, here's the, here's the bad part. Here's the bad part, because we know too much light can make you blind. So when you have the sun, which is already the spirit light, and you have the fire, which is the dancing, um, expressive light, and you put them two together, too much light in all fears of reality can make you blind. So a lot of times, fire signs get naive at the fact of what's in front of them, because they're too busy seeing right through what's in front of them. That's like, you got a piece of paper, right, right here. If I got a piece of paper right here, right, and if I burn this piece of paper, right, if I, if I burn it, it's going to burn into thin air, and I'm going to be able to see right through it. Now, the energy of this paper is still there, because you're going to be able to see the smoke, and you're going to be able to see it scatter. But the energy that was it is still there. So fire basically burnt through it. It synced through the physicality of it, to the point that it doesn't even see it as physical anymore. So a lot of times, practical things and reality and physical things, fire signs don't think common sense wise of these things. They some sometimes they don't ever look at it like it's real. This is why a lot of times fire signs do things that make you think like why this person did that because it is not practical. You know what I'm saying? They looking through the reality of it and trying to see the spirituality of it. And a lot of times that just doesn't work in in this realm of reality. Because you're not able to ground yourself or or create a foundation. But the only thing it can help is inspiration, expression. Because people people have a sense they spirit have a sense. They know what you're talking about. But there's so many realms of realities and programs that you have to dive into in this realm of reality that those things don't even make sense into these realms of realities and portals because these programs is ran by intellectual beings that want you to physically understand the external world. And if you're too busy trying to uh, attach spirit, the, the spirit ain't going to make something um, grounding into whatever realm of reality that you in. You see what I'm saying? Now, when we talk, when we talk about, um, when we talk about the sun sign being in water, now, what is water? Water represents um, the other filler. So these are the fillings that go down because this is the filling that sinks. It doesn't rise like fire. You could feel, you could feel water and fire, but when you look at them, fire go up and it got the light. And when you look at water, water goes down and it's dark. Water consumes any color that it's around so it's, it's mainly dark that's the real perception of dark you can't see you know what i'm saying because what you can't see is really dark now the physical representation of dark is when you actually outside and there, you can't see something because there's no light around that's just the physical it might be higher dense than the physical body but that's still the physical representation that you can see of darkness but darkness is this really what you can't see you can't see my brain you can't see my mind and what I'm thinking. That's dark. You can't see it. So it's not like it's in the dark. When something's in the dark, that's the physical, represent, the materialized representation of what dark represents. So people, when they talk, talk about melanin and all that, look, that's another video. Look, I'm about to kick some, look, that's another video. But when the sun is in water, this, this is the filler, but it's the emotion filler. It's not the filler and the enlightened filler, like light, fire signs. You have, you can feel fire, right? But fire, when you look at it, it's like, it light. It lights up, right? But light, like I said in my last video, frequency. So something that's light, lightning and low, it has, it's very light in weight. Or it's, it's light, like you can see it. And when something is light, it goes up. When something heavy, it goes down. Now water and dark is the filler that's heavy and that goes down. So now it sinks. You see what I'm saying? So these people who who live in their experience live in it and then we're not talking about right or wrong what's good or bad light and, and evil and we're not talking about that we're just talking about the basic concept of energies now the sun and water now we know the sun is how you see things and how you act and approach these actions now when it's in a water sign what happens here is water when you look at water you can it gets you wet you can touch it because it sinks it doesn't go up it sinks so you could get consumed in water you can assume yourself underwater also when it comes to water water is the fillings that actually is out for you to see and and connect with not detach from and and separate and go up like fire but connect with and soak in with so these uh water represents connection they like to connect 
So if water deals with the feelings and the emotions, and water, and if you just look at that ocean of water, it's all connected. Then water signs like the, the sun and the water, the way they see things and how they act, they like to see things that they can that they can connect to. They like to act on things that they can connect to and feel. You know what I'm saying? And, and soak in with. So they deal with vibrations more than any other signs. You know what I'm saying? Fire signs deal with frequencies. Water signs deal with vibration. So with vibration here, um, vibration, it, it likes to soak in the vibe that is in. So whatever, uh, so if it's in a vibe that it doesn't like to be in, it's going to feel uncomfortable. Whether that vibe is a person, place, or thing. And they like, to have, they like to be emotionally attached. So this is how they see things. So a lot of times, like that's like putting the sun under, under the water. A lot of times you're not going to see ideas. You're not going to see frequencies. You're not going to see a person's actions or, or the way they act. Now, in this realm of reality, yeah, you can see it because you have eyes, but we're talking metaphysically now for sun signs and water signs. And I think y'all going to understand me when I'm starting to explain this. It plays out in ways that you're able to set aside a person's actions. You're able to set aside how a person think and how a person talk all the time. Because you're more connected to how you feel about this person. You're more connected to the emotional stance that y'all got with each other and how y'all connected each other. So this person could say a lot of things, whatever like that. They can act crazy and do a lot of things. But you will understand them on an emotional level. You would give them a pass. You would give them consideration with other people who may who may try to talk down on them because you could be like nah but I understand that I, I know why they talk like that I know why they actions like that because where they emotionally come from where how they feel about this situation this is why water signs understand a person's circumstance and they're able to look past a person's actions and understand uh, and this is where the psyche come from uh, this is where fire intuition come from because they're able to see and this is where water um, psyche come from because they're able to connect so they're able to sit back and be like oh i know why this person acting like this i know so they're able to connect with people a lot better than other signs you see what i'm saying now to the negative part is a lot of times like i said it's like putting the sun in the water you can't uh if the, if the sun is in is in the, is in a dark area where you can't see it then there's not going to be no light nowhere so a lot of times you could get taken advantage of because um, you may suffer a lot of experiences of this person talking this way and that way of this person actions this person taking advantage of you and you're just sticking around because of your connection if y'all got things connected with each other or y'all almost or you understand this person emotionally so so a lot of times the bad part about it is you you look you look at you look past too much how a person is treating you and things of that nature so it, it becomes a little harder to get out of situations and circumstances because you looking past the ideas of this person you looking past this person's actions and this person's actions and ideas a lot of times can tell you a lot more than what your soul is telling you and if this person's actions and what they're saying and their ideas and how they're going about the circumstance if they keep if it, if it keep proving to you on and on and on that you need to detach from this person and disconnect then emotionally detach and move your waves into another area part of the ocean so that's the bad part about water but the good part about it is you're able to connect you're able to understand you're able to understand the circumstances of the situation you're in and able to analyze on who what when where and what to deal with and what person place or thing to connect with and able in it to enable to get to point a and point b now when you got the sun and earth now the sun is in earth so i like to look at the fire as the future because they like to see the future they don't like they don't like feelings that bring them down they like feelings that that make them look forward and look up i like to look at the water like the past because the the, uh, the water likes memory um water passes uh, we know uh what came second which created seconds is uh, the experience in time which is vibrations the vibration the experience of life or whatever like that the movement the fluid of it the motion the emotion of it, you know what I'm saying? You're able to move emotion through it. So what happens here is, I'll, uh, you, when you look at time, they say time passes, right? Because it's passing you by and passes. The word pass is tied to the frequency word of the past. So pass, uh, we know that correlates with your, you're able to experience something and it becomes a past. So it's tied to the, the soul and the vibration. And, and, when, and when we talk about um, water signs in general, this is why they like to hold on to memories. And this is why they like to look towards the past in order to move on to the future. And it, it just, this allows them to connect. You see what I'm saying? And I like to look at the um, the earth as the present because the earth is what's actually external and the energy that, that whatever frequency or vibration, a.k.a. fire or, uh, or water it came from, this is the solidarity of it.
You know what I'm saying? When you when you take heat and take water, you can shape all kind of shit, right? And then the energy that it comes to, when it matters enough, it becomes solid into a frequency megahertz, and it becomes solid. Now what happens here is whatever becomes solid is in the present. So it's what you can see now. So whatever you can see now is what you can see now. Whatever physical or even if it's metaphysical, it don't matter. If it's, it's matter before it's solid, but it's matter is still side to energy. So all the matter that you see now before it becomes uh, solid is what you can see. So earth, so when you have a sun sign and the earth, what happens here is, let's, let's look at earth. Earth is stable, stability, practicality, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, st uh, stability. Hey, can you shut that door? It's like, um... Um, stability, foundation, and um, so that plays out in a person's life as durability, um, as as stableness, as foundation, as what we can see now, what's in the present. So metaphysically, to an earth sign, I don't give a fuck about what you what you thought, of, what you felt in the past, and what you connected with, or what you thought, you, what what you thought, whoever did in the past. You don't give a fuck about. Um, what what could be in the future? Because the future ain't here yet. You only think about now. You, the future might be fucked up if we don't get ourselves together now. The past isn't here no more. So let's get ourselves together now. So this is Earth science way of um, this is Earth analogy. So when you put the sun here, which is your your actions and how you act and how you see things, that's how you're going to see things. You see things in reality. You see things into the now. You see things. That's that matters. You, uh, the past doesn't matter. The future isn't matter. It isn't here yet. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about what matter so we can kind of change the past or change for we won't have to experience any like them past experiences anymore. And let's stabilize ourselves now so we can have a good prospering future. You know what I'm saying? So earth science, this is how they see things and this is the things that they, this is how they act on things. So they like to, uh, this is why a lot of times they, Realms of realities and programs that cause for stability. This is why they act on these things, regardless of your spiritual nature on it, regardless of your soul, your expression about it, regardless of how you view it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, like earth signs, they may come across like they're not spiritual, but they are spiritual. It's just the way that they express it is in a, is in a now way. How does this work now? And if you and if you and if you come to them talking about a spirit, but if they can look at, if they can set you up, if they can look at you and see the clothes you're wearing. And see how you carry yourself, and then automatically come to the the practical sense of well, you kicking a lot of shit that makes sense, but I don't see how it's working for you now. Then uh, they're gonna say something to you like the Earth sign, Sun sign is gonna say something to you like, well, uh, I don't really agree with what you're talking. They're gonna say something that makes sense to them that's practical in the here and now, and you may leave off like. Man, that person ain't even spiritual. No, that earth sign person is spiritual. It's just they see that your spirit ain't working for you. And what's in the here and now, whatever spirit.